Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. It is lovely to have you here once again for another 4x4 challenge. This time we are just doing the interior design for Katie here. And it ends up being a really cute, like gamer girl, bubblegum kind of setup. Um, I, I end up really enjoying this build. It's very out of my comfort zone. I usually don't do anything like white and girly. I'm very much more into designing something a bit more dark and mysterious. Um, as you can see, this video is a little bit different to some of my other uh, recordings. This one is from my live stream from on Twitch. Um, so if you feel like hanging out with us there, we'd love to have you. Um, I do get a lot of community feedback when I'm designing builds like this. So it was very much like, should we do this? What should we do? I, do we like this? Um, so it was a very collaborative project. So if you feel like coming and hanging out with the cozy crew, we'd love to have you there. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's build and design this cute little four by four space. I always start mainly with bringing out items that I like. First and foremost, and then I was like, oh, it'd be cute if she had like a little gaming setup. And then I figured out, oh, there's this white and pink option. This kind of makes sense because Katie has like the cute little pink cheeks and like the yellow and pink is looking really cute together. So I start getting a few items out here and there. Um, and I just, I was playing around with different, different rugs, different walls, different floors. It took a long time for us to decide what wallpaper and what flooring we liked. Um, once I put that rug down, I was like, mm, maybe that flooring doesn't work. Uh, and yeah, we, we slowly iterate on the build and it, it takes form. And this is my kind of like ethos for, for designing little spaces and how I've sort of taken that through each level of everything um so yeah just pulling out items seeing what works i thought maybe the school lockers could work but it, it ended up cluttering the, cluttering the space too much so we went with a little bit more of a, a very casual living area especially because in the lore of the island there's like the DLC island, there's um, there's like a cafe and stuff. So you don't really need a whole lot of things in the little houses. At least that's how I, I make things happen in my brain. <laughs> I don't know if you all uh, have to justify everything like that, but I find it really helpful to be like, well, I don't need a kitchen in my little build because there's, there's a cafe on the island or a restaurant, like they'll be fine. Um, so here we've just skipped ahead a little bit to where I've done a little gallery wall and we were sort of figuring out what lighting to go where and what we wanted. And then we found the starry garland and we really run with that in this build. It looks super cute. And another trick that I've saw on Instagram actually is putting those little wall mounted shelves underneath the partition walls. And I really like it. It's a really good way of adding detail and depth to those like those slatted partition walls in in a way that makes sense. Like you'd have a little bit of storage under there, especially in such a small build. Um, we do end up changing those slatted partition walls later on and we make a really good change with it. I end up thinking it's a lot better than what we're doing right now, but you get you get the gist of what we were what we we're going for. We iterate, we iterate on everything. Um, so here we're putting a little stool, like this could be the little chair that Katie sits on when she's like at the TV area. And then we get the switch out. Of course we have to do the yellow one to match. The pink and yellow theme works really well. It's a good color, color combo, especially with the white as the main neutral. And then, yeah, we get pretty close to finishing it up now. It's all just detailing. The layout is how it's going to be. It's a very simple layout, but very effective. And it looks kind of like a streaming room would if you were like sleeping in it. So I think it's, it's very cute, very aesthetic, 
especially with that uh that little rug i i really enjoy it that uh that crochet rug is very very versatile uh, you can pull it into a lot of different types of builds like these cutesy ones you can and then other ones you can as well oh see i really love the the single wide uh, partition walls there it gives us space to put a couch in which i think was a really smart choice uh, especially because it actually makes that space functional whereas before it wasn't really functional and that's something you really got to think about in these smaller spaces so look it ended up being super duper cute especially with the, the little blue things the blue shirt um and here we're continuing the starry garlands and adding them around the room i think i do add one above the clock on the other wall as well eventually but here is the final results i will let live me take it away actually that looks really good I'm really happy with that. Guys, this is our little four by four room for Katie. Um, I love it. Look at Katie. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a little tour. So you, you come in, you've got the lovely gallery wall. You've got the wardrobe with the little sakura plant and lovely windows got the gamer girl white and pink setup and then you've got the tiny little little bed nook in the corner looks so cozy and comfy with the book there you've got your tv and coffee ready for bed we've got the background oh my god hi katie hello over here is our little entryway. So there's the door. You've got your switch, little terrarium. And of course, a lovely, lovely little carpet. This turned out so cute. This is so cute. Let's go. <laughs> You spent too much time, uh, so much time working on this. Uh, I appreciate it so much, but I shouldn't be surprised. Let's go. All right, what should we name it? Um, Cater Bell. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> With the toots, the Kate toots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I usually don't do like pink builds and I'm really happy with this one. Sweet, sweet bean juice. Give it to me. Yes. Oh. It's so cute. I will never delete this one. This is so good. I love the 4x4 room challenge. If you guys haven't tried it yet, please do. It's so much fun. It really makes you think about where you're putting stuff. It challenges you. Um, and it's like nice to have like a smaller space to do. You can do them a lot quicker. And look, you can still make them cute. You can still make them cute as heck. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm heading out, my dude. Oh my god. Katie is adorable. So cute. Wow. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you if you feel like subscribing on YouTube, subscribe. 